Ken Clark, the UK's former Conservative Chancellor, has been caught in an unguarded off-air moment, disparaging the candidates for the Tory leadership contest. She's not one of the minus tiny band of lunatics who think we can have a, a sort of glorious economic future outside the single market. So long as she understands that she's not to deliver on some of the extremely stupid things she's been saying. She's a bloody difficult woman, but you and I work for Margaret Thatcher. But he's not the only British leader to forget that the microphone is still on and recording. Current UK leader of the opposition, Jeremy Corbyn, arranged a press call for his new shadow cabinet. We get the camera to go. I, I don't think this. I, I said this before we came in. Then changed his mind and asked them to leave. Can we do something later on? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah, okay. The Queen was filmed describing Chinese officials in London for the state visit by President Xi Jinping as very rude. Uh, I think at the point that they walked out of Lancaster House and told me that the trip was off. I felt uh, very rude the ambassador. They were. Prime Minister David Cameron was overheard saying Afghanistan and Nigeria were fantastically corrupt. Nigerians, the, we've actually got some leaders of some fantastically corrupt countries coming to Britain. Uh, you know, no, Nigeria and Afghanistan, possibly the two most corrupt countries but in the world. This and let's not forget, former PM Gordon Brown lost his temper after meeting a disillusioned Labour voter. That was a disaster. Well, I just. She never have put me in my thumb with that woman. What did she say? Oh, everything. She just a sort of bigoted woman that said she used to be a lady. I mean, it's ridiculous.